Hello friends today i am uploading uh, one of faseem akram's new ball spell this is for the first time in his career i think he bowled 10 over in a row means uh, in one spell conceded 29 runs took one wicket pakistan batted first and scored 114 and then uh in the reply they won quite comprehensively by 9 wickets it was the final of standard and chartered series that was played in april 1998 rashid latif was our captain hansi kronie was their captain akram the only wicket taker who took the wicket of mike rendel uh, he bowled some unplayable deliveries that's the sort of pace he can generate and lift and that is hurt gary kirsten that was into the ribs short delivery rearing up into the rib cage and it just shows you that there's plenty left in this pitch for angle it into him then the result in fact was dropped from the one day side because uh, McGrand Gillespie had sorted him out going round the wicket and bowling into him like that good opening maiden there from Waka Yunus was him Akram into Mike Rindel again it beats him and the keeper taking it above his head not much to defend here for pakistan but tremendous piece of bowling here by wazim akram these are the men that can do it again this is a bit off the edge uh, down to third man for a single mike rendell this delivery once again rearing up to the batsman uh, on the leg side i think it just flicked the pad because there was a noise plenty of heavy crowd over the mountain The mountain that is in close proximity to this ground and was well left by the batsman once again very good delivery there the shots of catch it but uh, i think but like very nasty delivery there on to his belly <laughs> frantic call of no from Mike Rindle there good bit of fielding That's good bowling by Waka Yunus. That the conditions were were tough today. And Hansi Kornia winning the toss was able to get Pakistan into bat when there was plenty of assistance for his seam bowler. So now we're going to have the work cut out. continue Kirsten just look at that one took off once again superb delivery there by Wasim Akram West Indies and we saw a number of deliveries taking off like that in fact it was a venomous pitch the Kirsten but happening very soon Yeah, now that's gone off the edge and frankly what was going through my mind while David was talking He jazz again good stop
always prepared to try something different coming round the wicket, angling it across the left hander. And Mike Riddle, Riddle who's real, really, really his concentration hasn't Riddle been Riddle quite ball. there throughout his innings. Uh, 20, just two boundaries in that score. And the first wicket goes down. <laughs> out. Wazim continues. There's no real. Oh, like that. That almost cut him in half. Well, Wazim Akram is going to continue. So it looks as though they might well. Angle down to third man again by Gary Kirsten. He knows that he's fighting a losing back. Wazim starts his last over going round the wicket to the right-hander Jacques Cullis. Um, we'll add up the season for the boys. And they, and they fully deserve it. Well, at 3.82 runs conceded per over, he's is the best in fourth best in world cricket behind Kirtley Ambrose the great West Indian Angus Fraser the British uh, fast bowler and Gavin Larson the medium pacer from New Zealand those are current players uh, that we talking about down to third man for a single giving way to the youngsters. Some bowlers uh, stuck at it, but they weren't really, I don't think, for me to say they weren't interested is unfair, but...